Hi, Mark here from MIECCTV.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to enable your RTSP stream on your height vision camera so that you can access them using your Amazon Fire TV stick. What you'll need to ensure before we start this is that the firmware of your camera is up to date and this should work on firmwares after 5.5 on your cameras. Firstly, what we'll need to do is access your camera via a web browser. So we'll look at doing that now. If we go to the IP address and then log in, we want to go into the configuration of the camera and then we want to, underneath system, go to security. Now under security we need to check that the RTSP authentication and the web authentication are both digest slash basic. We also now need to click on the network setting and go into advanced settings. Underneath the integration protocol you'll see an option that says enable Hike Vision CGI and you want to check that the authentication is also digest slash basic. If you don't see the enable Hike Vision CGI tick box here, more than likely your camera's firmware isn't correct and it will need to be updated for this to work properly. Once we've applied these settings, we'll reboot the camera just to make sure that they're safe properly and we'll move on to testing the RTSP stream. So for this, I'm going to use VLC Media Player. I'll include a link in the description to download VLC Media Player if you don't already have it. And we're going to open the network stream. So if you look here, we've got the full address of the RTSP stream. Now this will contain the IP address of the camera and the little note on the end that says 101 means it will be the first camera and the 01 is the stream type. So 01 is the master stream. If this said 102, it'll be pulling through the substream. And we'll go through that in a minute so that you can check that both streams are working. I've also included a PDF link in the description to how to address your RTSP streams so you can set them up properly to connect to your camera. So once we've entered this successfully, it'll ask you for the username and password for the camera. We'll just enter that in, and this has pulled through the master stream for the camera. So as I was just explaining, I can now go in and just to double check, both streams are working properly. We can change the address so it says 102 on the end. And if we hit play again, it'll ask you for the username and password again. If we pop that in, it will bring you through the secondary stream on the camera. Okay, so that's your camera set up now and you can successfully pull the stream from it. So what we need to do next to get this working with your Fire Stick is go to monoclecam.com. I'll include a link to this in the description. And the first thing we need to do is register. So if we click register now and you enter in all your details, we'll just run through this quickly with our details. And if you click create an account, what will happen is Monocle will email you uh, an automated email with an activation link that you'll just have to click. Once you've clicked on this link, you'll be presented uh, with the page that pops up now. And it will tell you that your registration is confirmed and that now you can sign in. So now we need to sign into our Monocle account. And once we've signed in, what we'll be doing next is adding the camera to the account. So if we click on where it says add camera feed. Now we enter in all the details for our camera stream. So we're going to call this office. You can just put a short description of the camera in. Put in the manufacturer name and the model name. Now the streaming address that we used earlier we're going to copy and input in here obviously we're using internal addresses at the moment if you wanted this to work externally on a different fire stick to one that was in your LAN what you need to do is use an external address and make sure the ports are forward appropriately we're changing the authentication type to basic and then we're entering the username and password for the camera we want the Fire Stick to pull through the stream at 1080, so we're just changing the resolution here to 1920 by 1080. And if we just click Save, that stream is now added to our Monocle account and should be accessible 
from the skill that we're going to add to our Amazon Alexa device. So the next step is we need to head over to Amazon and we need to enable the monocle skill on our Amazon device. So to do this, uh, again, I'll include a link in the description, but all we need to do is click on enable skill. Once you've done that, it will ask you to sign into your monocle account. So we'll just do that here. And now that skill is successfully enabled on your smart device. If we click discover devices, what this will do is it will push down the camera in our Monocle account to our Amazon Alexa device so that we can uh, call it on, on command. So this will just take us to our page and it will look to discover that new device. If we look in the background here, we've already got a few devices on. Uh, we've got a couple of smart plugs and there are a couple of cameras left over from when we've set this up previously. And as Alexa scans for the devices, you'll see it says the Office PTZ camera, so that's the one we're interested in. And because the front door and Office PTZ don't work anymore, we'll remove them from our account just to stop any confusion. Okay, so your Amazon device now knows that when you ask it, Alexa, show me the Office camera, that it will display the Office camera. So if we head over to our Fire Stick now, now this can be prompted either by your voice remote or if your Alexa device is linked to your Fire Stick, you can go straight from your Alexa. And if we say, Alexa, show me the office. It'll wait while it pulls the stream for the camera. And then after a couple of seconds, the stream will successfully come through to your Amazon Alexa device. So this completes this video tutorial, I'll include links in the description for Monocle, how to format your RTSP addresses correctly so that they'll pull through the stream, and also a link so directly so you can enable the Amazon skill. This method is tried and tested on IP cameras currently. It should work using a DVR or NVR, but we are yet to successfully set this up. Uh, once we've done that, we'll upload a new video on how to do this. If you need to purchase an IP camera, don't forget to visit our website www.mieccv.co.uk and don't forget to leave a comment down below if this solution worked for you, like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more technical updates.